Uh, this is Baneface from YouTube. Some people may know me as Kymer B. Raven. And I'm here to make a Devhook 0.51 firmware installation video using Tommy Danger's Devhook Easy Installer. And so, first things first, uh, we need three files, and of course a PSP, and a 1.5 firmware. Those three files are eboot.pbp, which is the 3.01 updater. You can download this from Sony officially, or you can download it from qj.net. Which is a reliable source that I always use. You also need the 3.01 Devhook firmware installer made by Tommy Danger. This also can be obtained from qj.net. Which is a reliable source that I always use. And you can get the Devhook 0.51 from qj.net as well. reliable source that I always use. Now make sure that the update is named eboot.pbp. When you download this from qj.net, it should be named update space 3.01.pbp. You want to rename it as eboot.pbp. Now that we have all the files, we'd like to extract both these RAR files. If you're using a Windows, WinRAR should boot. If you're using a Mac OS X, UnRAR should boot. When you see all OK, means both of them are extracted. Now we should have two folders that weren't originally there on the desktop. These two folders would be it. Now make sure you have a backup of your memory stick because this devhook installation is pretty much going to write overwrite everything in your memory stick. So, open up the folder for devhook go to MS root there will be three folders DH, FBM, and PSP copy these three into the root of your memory stick if you're using a Mac simply drag them over to your memory stick it will tell you that there's already a same name folder existing would you like to replace them you go apply to all and you hit replace. As I said, this installation is going to pretty much replace every folder in your memory stick. Or it's going to replace the PSP folder, which has the music, the photos, the game save data, and everything. So you want a backup. This shouldn't take too long. Meanwhile, let's close these windows. Second thing you want to copy to the root of your memory stick would be the eboot.pbp file. Drag this to the root of your memory stick as well. This should copy in about 10 seconds, 5 seconds, according to the Mac. And lastly, Open the 301 underscore dh underscore fw underscore installer folder. And there should be two folders. It's a 1.5. If you're fluent with 1.50 homebrew gaming, you would recognize these two folders as an eboot file inside. You open your memory stick. You go to PSP, Game, and inside this folder, you want to drag these two inside. So your game folder should look like this. Devhook 051 beta. Devhook 051 beta. And also the firmware installers. Now that we have everything in place, we eject the memory stick. If you're using a Mac, make sure to hit the eject button to avoid corrupt files in your memory stick. Shouldn't happen anyway, but your Mac gives you a warning. And now that the memory stick is ejected, head back over to the PSP.
I use a Japanese PSP. Head back. Head over to your memory stick. Circle. There you'll see a 3.01 DHFW installer, DevLook firmware installer. Run the file. And a black screen would appear with white writing. Press X to install firmware 3.01 for devhook. So you hit the X button. Extracting PSAR. This should take a while. Now some people may think that this is a critical error, but it's actually just extracting files to the designated folders in DevHook, so nothing to worry about. Do not panic. When it's done, it would exit in 10 seconds automatically. Now we go back to the game memory stick, dev hook, and simply just start dev hook. It would reboot with the VSHEX mod. Ignore that. System settings. System information. Voila! You have a 3.01. A new camera. I have no tracks to show the visualizer, but I've already tested it. There is a visualizer and it works. Some other features certificate utility, game sharing, save data utility, all those were there. Remote play, location free player, online instruction manuals, all the jazz. Enjoy! I give credit to QJ.net for their amazing information and amount of file hosting. It's always the best site ever for all my PSP information, at least. And then Booster for creating DevHook. It's a great thing to have, especially when Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops is being released tomorrow. I'm going to have to go buy that as soon as possible. Also, um, <clears throat> Tommy Danger for creating the DevHook firmware installer it made the procedure so much easier. It's unbelievable. And I want to give a little credit to myself for making this video. Just a little, you know, just a little.